Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Frigidaire range inner door glass. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new inner door glass. The inner door glass is located in the oven door. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's cracked or damaged. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the oven door. And then we're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to remove the two back Phillips screws so we can lift the door off the hinges. You want to be careful as you're loosening the screws. Sometimes they're in there pretty tight. You don't want to strip out the screw. Once you have this side out, we can go do the other one. Now that we have the screws out, but before we take the door off the hinges, if you look at each side, you'll see a small hole drilled through the hinge. We're going to stick a small screw through there. You can use a small nail or whatever you have on hand that's not going to fall out. What that'll do is lock the door in the open position so it makes the door easier to lift on and off the hinges. Once you have the screws in, we can lift the door up and lift it off the hinges. We can lift the door up until it hits the screws and then we can carefully lift the door off the hinges so we can work on it on the table. Before we put the oven door down, you want to make sure you put a towel down so you don't scratch the door or damage it. Once you have the door down, we can grab our Phillips screwdriver and take out the two screws that hold the handle on. You want to be careful if these are tight, same as the lower ones, you don't want to strip them out. Now that we have the screws out, we can lift the door up a little bit and take the handle out, set it aside, and then we have to take this end cap off. Should just be able to slide it up a little bit and pull it off. There's just some tabs underneath there on each end that you have to release as you lift it up. You can set the door down and set this end cap aside. Now we turn the door around. We're at the bottom of the door. There's four screws. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Now that we have the screws out, we're going to separate the two halves of the door. All you have to do is lift up on it. And as you lift it up, the front half will be off the glass. We can carefully lift this outer glass off and set it aside. Once you have the outer glass out of the way, we can turn this over and set it down so we can take out the panel that holds the glass in. To take the panel off, we're going to remove the four screws with our quarter inch nut driver. Now that we have all the screws out, we can lift this panel out. It goes underneath this lip right here at the bottom of the door, so we're going to lift the top up and then pull it out of the lip. Once you have it out, you can set this panel aside. Now we're going to take the glass frame out of the inner door panel. You just want to carefully lift it up. And once you have it out, you can get rid of the inner door panel. Once you have the inner door panel out of the way, you can set the door glass assembly down so we can change whichever one is damaged. You also want to be careful that you don't cut yourself on the broken glass. In order to get the glass frame apart, we have to separate this aluminum frame. So there's a little metal tab right here that we're going to bend. We're just going to bend this tab up with a small flathead screwdriver. Once you have that tab bent up, then we can carefully lift up on the frame so it separates and we can take the glass out. 
It's a good idea while you have the door taken apart to take the time to clean the glass panels that you aren't replacing. Now that we have the glass out, we can pull it off the table. Here's the old inner door glass next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. Now we can put the inner glass into the frame and put it back together. We have everything cleaned up, so all you should have to do is set the glass into half the frame. Once you have the first one in, then we can carefully set the second one in. And then we can put the other half of the frame on. All we're going to do is hook this side in here. Once you have it hooked in, we can lower the frame down and make sure it sits on both pieces of glass correctly. Then we can hold it all together and lift it up. Then we can lower this piece down and push this piece onto it. Once you have the frame back around the glass, we can very carefully bend this tab back up so it's all held together. Once you have the frame put back together, we can put the oven door back together. To put the door back together, we're going to set the inner door back onto the table. And we have the bottom on this side. Then we can set the glass assembly with the frame into it. As you set it into place, you'll notice that there's some tabs on this side of the frame. And this side of the frame is smooth. You want to put the smooth side up. Now we can put the inner panel on. Remember, you just want to slide it underneath the lip of the bottom of the door. Once you have it in place, you can set it down and make sure the holes are lined up. Then we can use our quarter inch nut driver to put the screws in. Now that we have the inner panel on, we can put the outer door glass back on the door. To put the outer door panel on, all you have to do is set it down onto the door, and you can pull it up to line up the screw holes on the bottom, so we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in. Now that we have the outer door panel on, we can put the end cap and the handle back on. We can lift the door assembly up, and we're going to separate the inner and the outer panels. You want to be careful you don't drop the glass. And then we're going to put the end cap on. When you're putting the end cap on, you want to make sure that the brackets right here go behind these tabs. And then each one of these four tabs that go across the back have to snap onto the glass. Once you have it in place, we can lift the two pieces of the door together again. Once you have the door back together, we can put the handle and the screws in. First, we're going to put the screw through the door. And then we can put the handle in. On the handle, there's a little tab, that little cutout right here. You want to make sure that that's on the bottom when you put it on the door. Once you have everything lined up, we can use our Phillips screwdriver to tighten up the screw. Now we can do the one on the other end. Now that we have the door put back together, we can put it on the range. Put the door back on the hinges. We're just going to line them up and slide them down onto the hinges. Once you have the door all the way down on the hinges, you can open it up and then we can take the screws or pins out of the hinges.
Once you have the screws out of the holes, we can use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in that hold the door to the hinges. Now that we have the screws back in, we can close the oven door, plug it back in, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.